And we are back. This is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 6. I'm very, very, very excited for this episode, but also very nervous. This is the episode where we finally get a Fitzsimmons reunion. Let's hope it's for good this time and one of them doesn't get kidnapped or something. Don't split my babies up anymore. And it looks like they're going to be encountering some personal demons with one of them including being the Doctor. That should be interesting, and apparently this episode is supposed to show, to show a darker side to Simmons, and it's supposed to be like really, 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 really emotional. It's a bit Simmons, of course it'll be emotional, but, you know, when has this show ever not broken my heart? Where the fuck is she? Where do I put her? So please don't be a hologram. Please. It's real! It's real! My babies are back together. Uh, I've got so much that I want to say. That's such for you everywhere. I was trying to find you too. You're not saying you sent your 100 years into the future. You can believe that. Until you see it. Oh, yeah. Let, we'll get into that later. Just let me see this. I've realized the universe can't stop us. Because we survived the bottom of the Atlantic, we've crossed the galaxy more than once. Framework. <laughs> Just to be together. He's gonna propose. So again. A love like that, stronger than any curse. Yeah, he's gonna propose again. You and I, we are We're unstoppable together. <laughs> what do you say, Gemma Simmons? Yeah, which is why I can't live another day without you. Yeah, he's gonna propose again. So I'm asking you. Hand hand. Jim Simmons, will you marry me? Oh, absolutely. And this time she heard it. <laughs> Does this mean I get to watch another Fitz Simmons wedding? Yay! Just stop it. I don't know what. No, I'm fine. I don't want to. The fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Just happened to Simmons. Gemma? Yeah. I don't want to tell you, and you can't make me. What the fuck? Why is she a kid now? Jeb, Jeb, Jeb. I'm confused. I think our minds might be the present. Oh, it means this whole thing isn't real. You say the human mind is a powerful thing. It's like a simulation, like a framework program. Together. Might not be framework, but it's a simulation. Oh, cool. What's it called? What did that say? That's not a good book. That's a bad book. Bad story. Book. Did that say Darkhold? Okay, I don't think it's safe. We should get. I could swear that's a Darkhold. Sure, your daddy will understand. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Let's just go. Oh, this bitch. <clears throat> Many things. Functioning optimally. You're the one who was avoiding the task at hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, I was just figuring out that you put us in a mind prison and you lied to us about it. I don't like to you. Then figure your way out. She's seven. And a half. <laughs> I could do up an LMD. No. No LMDs, LMD, please. please. She can really handle the computation. Don't you dare. Did you say Ada? Yeah, oh, no. Oh, he's you back. The Doctor's an ass mind prison. You're back. Good. Don't be mad. She was the most destructive force in all life. Why would you think that would be a good yeah, idea Ada. to bring her Oh, here? I'm sorry that I was childish. This is the last time I asked you about the... I kind of want to see Ada, though. She's my favorite villain. He's here. I brought him home. Oh, my God. This is what Mac told her. I don't want to see this. this memory. This is what Mac There's told her. To see him. By the way, we understand. I don't want to see this. What's going on? If it's okay, it's not. It's, oh my god, it's gonna What's hurt. Did you and I? Yep. Had I, had I made that proposal to you before? Yeah. But she didn't hear it the first time. I'm sorry. 
I miss my own wedding. No, you just haven't heard yours yet. Listen, I know it's a lot of no, no, no. Yes, but there was beauty too. What? There's more death than this. This hurts. Coulson. Oh, what now? What are they gonna hurt me with now? He doesn't know Coulson's dead. That's Sam. I completely forgot he didn't know. If Finn starts crying, I'm gonna lose it. I'm already losing it though. That's that's too much. It's okay. I I gotta get over here. That's too much. This fucking show. And then I think about the hell that you went through, and the pain of not being yeah. there, and then if an entire race. Of Chronicoms is feeling that. But, but you're here uh, now. You it, then, then, then maybe we should take control of time, undo whatever we want. Fit, slow down. Um, this is why I was careful telling you everything. Your mind is. Uh, it's been through a lot, and I'm afraid under too much pressure. Well, what? I'll crack. That's ludicrous. Well, I've been hearing him. Doctor. You had a pretty bad mental break when you got back. Yeah. All right, well, 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 why don't you just pile, pile it all on? That wasn't... That's what I'm afraid of. She's afraid he'll come back out to play. stuck with you. You try to ignore it and push it down. <sighs> oh. This is what I was afraid of. I saw this coming. We'll find a way. <sighs> Gemma holding onto a pillow for dear life is me. What the fuck? What was that? What the hell? I also recommended you for my team. This is when he hired them, like the recruited them. Field team. This is an honor. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, yeah, we would love the chance to discuss it and think about it more, I think, probably. Um, this is so amazing. Look, I know the feel isn't for everyone. Some people want to remain behind the scenes. I get it. But to be out there, seeing the lives you're changing, you end up being the one most changed by it. This is true. There are major field agents there. so inspiring. <laughs> Oh no. It was a trap. So predictable. Run. Oh, fuck. This is mine. This is real. This is real. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. What? Oh yeah, because it's their mind, so they can technically conjure up whatever the, whatever the hell they want. My girl Daisy! You called for backup? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Altera didn't expect that. It did say her arrogance would get the better of her. Only to fall in love with some bloody astronaut. I was alone! On a desert planet. Who turned out to be high, by the way. Oh, and also, are we sure that that happened after you slept? Oh with my her? god. Because hey, technically felt the suspect. You want to go there? At least he was a person. You built a robot girlfriend. Yes, because you saved me in the future. You saved me on Mayweather, then you saved me when we were trapped in the bottom of the ocean. Ah, oh, damn. Had to go mention the ocean. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. What? What? The hell? What? 
Right in front of my non-existent salad. Gross. Okay. Ew. That's. I didn't see that come. Oh. Oh no. Um. Mm. Mm. Uh. 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 That's how you do that. Uh. Uh. Gross. Yuck. You will be together. Huh? You'll be. I'm sorry, what was that? Please tell me that was Enoch. Enoch did something. Please be Enoch. Yes! Enoch! Yes, you have. Good job, Enoch. I'm so proud of you. Now, how do we get the fuck out of here? Oh, uh, that's one way. Embrace me. <laughs> Where is it taking them exactly? Ah, uh, <laughs> he doesn't know about Deke. We'll return in a moment. And they weren't just attacked. They were destroyed. Their entire planet was laid to waste. And the ones who did it. They're the here? Yep. Here, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This lady was in love with this dead Colson guy. Oh fuck. Anyone else have a thing for him? Oh fuck. He's a match. His idea is Colson. That's not him. By the end of the day, I'll be the one in charge. No, you won't. Guess this is where I gave you my list of demands. Oh bitch, please. You don't get to make demands. Okay, I think it's safe to say this is my favorite episode of the season and one of my favorites of the show overall. Because originally, last week's episode became my favorite of the season, but now this one just dethroned that one. God. I knew it was going to be emotional because an episode focused entirely on Fitzsimmons, it was bound to be emotional, but I did not expect them to show what happened after Fitz died. The future Fitz. Like, he dies... And then we see Mac go to tell Simmons, but then they cut away before that even happens. And then they showed us what he told her, her reaction. Fitz finding out he died, his body. Fitz finding out about Coulson. That's where I started to lose it when he found out about Coulson. I was literally holding back tears. <sighs> that shit hurt. And we proposed again. Oh my god, and this time she heard it, because we proposed the first time when they were in the future, Cassius had her under the hearing thingy, so she didn't hear him. Does this mean we get to watch Fitzsimmons get married all over again? I'd be totally okay with that. I don't think they will, because we had, the first one was really big, so I don't think they're going to do another, another wedding. If they do, it'll be like off screen, but, you know. They're getting married again. It's so sweet. Oh my god. Um, this is going to be a hard episode to edit because this was just such a good episode from beginning to end. Ugh. And I love the references to the framework and I love how they mentioned Ada a few times. My favorite S.H.I.E.L.D. villain ever. Just She was very complex. That's why I loved her. And Mallory Jansen. She was perfect for the role. And I loved her as Madame Hydra too. Um, and the ending... When Daisy's just like, okay, only on S.H.I.E.L.D. Only on S.H.I.E.L.D. Will they end an episode with someone saying, okay. And now next week it looks like our team's going to be working with Sarge to go against the Shrike, the bat creature thingies. I'm curious as to, uh, for when we'll meet the big bad. Because the big bad of the season is the person that, I forgot, I think they mentioned his name like once. If it's even a he, I think it's an it or something, but they mentioned its name like one time. I don't remember what it was, but the person who created those bat thing creatures, they're the big bad of the season. So obviously, whoever this is, we have to 
see him before the end of the season, so. That should be interesting, but I don't think it's a he or a she. I think it's more like an it. The way Sarge described it, like a monster. What if he's right? Like a literal monster, like an it. Almost like Hive. Sort of. Well, that was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 6, episode 6 overall. Easily my favorite episode of the season and one of my favorites of the show overall. Oh my god, Fitzsimmons. They will always, always, always be one of my top favorite ships ever. They were just one of those ships where I shipped them from the moment I saw them on screen together in season 1. Just, oh my god. I'm with them to the end. I would die for Fitzsimmons, not to be dramatic, but I would. Oh god, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six episodes left. Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven episodes left. I count it, twelve, but it's thirteen. So we have seven episodes left. We are pretty much, after next week's episode, we're halfway done with the season. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this episode and how, your, how much your emotions were destroyed like mine. That was not fun, having my emotions destroyed, but you know, only on S.H.I.E.L.D. And that is it for now. I will see you guys next time.